They obviously put two good refs to hold you, bro, because you're an anchor. You tell me when to go, Dan. Kia ora te iwi. Welcome back to uh, the third of our live stream games here on day one of the 2024 Bunnings Warehouse Masters National Championships. You'll be wondering where we went. No, we didn't take a long toilet break. We just don't have any power at the moment. So we're doing something a little bit different. And uh, we've hooked into the camera. And I'm just positioned myself behind this Auckland team, as we see, for our third live stream game in this men's 40 grade between Counties Manuko and Auckland. Now, I'm sure these two teams get sick of playing each other, and I can have no doubt that uh, they won't be wanting to lose to each other down here. So this Auckland team stacked full of talent. We see so many of our top players from the past decades. I'm um, joined in here with Rod. We're having to share a, share a mic here, Rod. This is new for us. I actually quite enjoy this because instead of being in the tent, we get to be behind the Auckland box. We'll be able to hear everything. How do you think this match is going to go, Rod? Oh, it'll certainly be an interesting one. As you said, um, you know, a local derby where they go again. Um, and, and, you know, they, they had a good feeler a couple of weeks ago just to see where they were at. Um, and, and once again, they're, they're here to battle it out. So um, I'm expecting a tight game as, as usual between these, these two. There'll be no love lost, as, you know, as we've come to come to ex accept over the um, over the years. Um, so yeah, it'll certainly be a, a, an interesting start to the game, and we'll see how how physical it actually does get. Here we see County's ready to kick us off in the third of our live stream game. Hitting right to left on your screen. See Mikey just out here, the number four. County's box already straight into their work. Comms coming out. We see a wraparound plate. Good defence there from Auckland. Trying to get that penalty. Uh, there they are. Yeah, great work there from the number nine from Counties. Just looking like he was going in to roll the ball. Auckland pulling back. And as we know, you have to stay forward until your touch is made. So a fresh set here for Counties. As you see them now, attack the short side. Could have went long, went short. Oh, I thought the referee said ball down. He was going to step back and award the try. And just a shout out to our three referees for this game. Moana Edwards, Tim Lucas and Kalina Rua. Kalina Rua, I think, is one of the best referees that we have in the country. And I look forward to seeing the direction she continues to take. As we see now, Mike. Mikey just taking that fifth touch, looking back towards the middle. Nice run there from our number nine from Counties, John Green. Great start to this uh, third game, Rod. Yeah, it's, it's been a good feeling. It's good for Auckland in terms of the defence there. They didn't panic, just held their line. So we see them just transition, nice strong transition down on three to the halfway. So, you know, they're, they're into it. As we see Donny Rihari on the ball now, and that's someone that we expect in terms of attack to see how they can uh, how they can pull this one off. As we see a sweeper and they'll fake him, go same side to Donny. Ooh, nearly pulled it through there. So, you know, they get it back to back, and it's, those, uh, it's this is what they look for at that end of the park. You might have heard some creative uh, words used um, with our repositioning, needing to be next to the camera. Got us in behind the Auckland sub box, so uh, we're a lot closer to the team. So just apologise for any words that we uh, can't control that's happening. However, back to the action. We see Luke and Donny working in the middle here, just going to a 32. Long ball. Donny now off his right. Just a bit of miscommunication there. Good defence there from the county's Manukau team. Rod, what's your expectation? Who do you think is going to win this game? Like Again, this takes us back to the previous game. Unfortunately, you couldn't see that second half. It was an incredible second half where we had the Canterbury team come out five, three victors over Bay of Plenty, and that means 40 grade. But what's your thoughts on this game? Who do you think is going to take this one out? It is, it is a hard read. You know, at the moment, for me, um, it seems that Auckland's got, certainly got the energy up and, and it, in terms of effort it's it's there and they're working they're working hard at it so I think I think Auckland might just sneak away with this one but you know they do need to keep um, their energy and their effort going um, at both ends of the park so we see Auckland just starting to pull down the transition now and bring some bring some fresh legs on in there then in the right the right place we'll just see a wrap around as we see um, Jonas Atai on the ball pick and go Jonas step back Head to the outside, looking for the um, cutback. Oh, nice little tips, plays. Unfortunate, but this is what we expect to see um, um, from these guys. This is what they've been doing, you know, for all these years. Very enterprising play. Still in the law, these teams. It's their second game of the 
tournament so far on day one down here at Ongli Park, Palmerston North. If you've just joined into us, this is our third of our live stream games, but it's actually round five for the tournament, a three-day tournament, with the finals being on our Sunday afternoon. Yeah, nice strong touch there from the Auckland number two. Canary player just couldn't quite get the ball down there, and we see referee Rua knew what the county's team were up to, just trying to get a bit of an advantage there, Rod, by throwing the ball away. Yep, he's, he's a bit of a choir boy, you know, it wasn't me, ref, um, uh, but obviously got pulled up for that one. Um, nice touch there by, uh, by counties as we see uh, Lungapati um, rotate onto the field. So they'll keep it 3-3, three, three, I'd, I'd say. I mean, just trying to work the, work the county's crew open a little bit. They're in a good space at the moment. I think they're onto their, their fourth touch here, so let's see what they can create. Um, off the late and long, oh, sorry, that was, a, that was a last good good turnover, but they're at the right end of the park, so let's see if Auckland can lift here and just hold counties down this end of the park. I forgot to mention, uh, one of the most significant players to play our game over the past three decades, Uli Moranga, the uh, player coach for the counties team. I normally hear him before I see him. Um, he was always one of those players that whenever I got to ref him, it was like a, a huge excitement to be able to ref Willie Moranga and then also extremely nervous too to ref Willie Moranga. So great to see him uh, back in the country, back with a partner of crime there from the Waikato, Roy Pihana. So we see counties though, just trying to get some extra yards as they set up now for a key dump. Backdoor play, we'll fake the backdoor play, come back short side. Gets him behind, no touch, now trying to lose. I imagine there, if that wasn't going to be a touchdown, I would imagine that would have been a penalty. As we see there, referee Roy, give the all clear. And Tim Lucas, one of the best in the business to do it. Tim was actually my first uh, group leader at my first ever Nationals in Rotorua. Taught me everything I know, so blame it on him. <laughs> yes, yeah, we just see the dangers there. Um defensively if you go once you go off your feet it's pretty hard to recover so you know especially if you're if you're the chasing defender there it's you know you better just to stay on your feet and try and stay in uh in and about the the ruck there or at least the, the ball carrier we saw Auckland on the ball now Rihari um in space a tie yeah Auckland just a little bit guilty of um just some some small errors here um but you're right uh, I, no doubt Willie Mooring I won't be won't be too far um, they're, all, they're all thereabouts. Um, you can certainly hear him barking over that, that side of the um, park, so you know, he'll, he'll make his presence felt for sure. Unfortunately, in the back of play there, Rod, we've seen David Senior, just, uh, sorry, John Senior, go down with an injury to his hamstring. Just see him here pacing down the back of the box. Hopefully he's not too bad. County's though, working hard. Going long, left to right. Yeah, great defence here. Good hold there from the number 15 for Auckland. Aaron Meek, really, really good read. Had numbers on that side, but picked the right option. We see here now County's just struggling to get on side. Auckland. Working their way towards the attacking scoreline. We see Luke making his way back into the middle of the field. Yeah, Mick, Mick sort of finding his way through the park there, but good defence by Counties. Staying man. As we see Counties just starting to work their way down the field. Uh, it's noticed things have slowed up just a little bit in, in this transition zone here. Um, so, you know, a bit, bit more inf emphasis on getting things right um, as opposed to 100 miles an hour and maybe maybe something a little bit to do with the conditioning, but um, it's certainly still a, a hot game at the moment as we see Counties on the attack and the pick. Just looking for a late there. The late just comes just a little bit, um, a little bit slow on that one. Great to see one of the best uh, exports from Pyro, Aaron Tim Wananui, the number three for Counties. He's obviously uh, gone up a level. He's looking in incredible condition. I've never seen his, I've never seen that definition in his guns before. He normally out on the wing, but now playing in the link. So great to see one of the great folks from Pyro playing for this Counties Monaco team, just out there on the right hand wing. Good set of defence here from Counties. Unfortunately, like exactly like you said, Rod, the transition has definitely slowed down a lot, and not only that, the comms have too. 
And as we see, the man himself now is just start to wander on the field. Um, Willie Mortinger, he'll be there or thereabouts on the ball. Let's see what he can do in terms of nice little late and long. Oh, unfortunately, just a lot uh, a forward pass on that one. But, you know, we come to expect any time Willie Mortinger is around the ball, um, expect something there. So, um, first time on, <laughs> and ne nearly, nearly there, so... Yeah, lethal work there from Willie. As we see Auckland now, they'd want to clean this up. Last set wasn't so great. We just to see the seven metres done to get a little bit short. The attacking team's not quite having the space that they deserve. See, though, Tony setting things up in the middle. Yeah, not the greatest set there. Rod for Donny to work off, but with man of his ability, he nearly made something out of nothing. Yeah, I'm sure he'll chat with his cohorts just about that and making sure that they set a, a nice firm base for him to work off. Um, so we see just counties, you know, once again, they've certainly slowed the pace down on, on the transition at this stage. So, uh, you know, the coach has obviously identified that um, and it's become part of part of their play here while they um, just organise themselves as they transition on. Um, as we see... Going 32, 32, usually it's 32 long and a lot earlier than that. Let's see how Auckland can recover, and they do. Um, so they saw that you know, saw that play coming. Lee Hardy down. Auckland on a, la on a lateral shift, very quick lateral shift at that. And nice lift by County. He's just trying to take a, a lot of time and space away from Auckland. Good set so far. Just like what you said, County's really compressing Auckland. In this corner, that's a fifth touch and just got to the halfway line. I'll just settle this one down. So, yeah, great set for here from Counties. I expect to see a number of these key players coming back out onto the field. I'm sure the number 12 will be out in this set. Setting things up, getting some fresh legs on. You see uh, Howard Rota coach the number of teams. County's now got their crew on. Be interesting to see what they come up here. Just quickie in the middle. Looking to go to his right-hand side. Face play here. Gets in behind. Good defence there from the Auckland. Number two. Sort of a nothing set there from County's Rod. Yeah, the, the interesting part for me, EY Chen on the on the ball there. Ex-Auckland player. So you know, these, these Auckland boys certainly know him. So um, they managed to, to defuse that one quite well as we see Auckland just trying to push nice and hard. Hard through there. It's the fourth touch there. Let's see what kind of uh, what kind of pick platform they can uh, they can set up as they get in behind the gate. Oh, is he going to call that one? Yes, he is. And you know, as a, as a coach, that's what you're looking for. You can get these repeats. Um, certainly helps you build into something a lot more productive um, down the other end. Great to see John Sydney all back out there. The number nine from Auckland on this right hand wing, shaking his leg. Did a little bit of damage to his hammy. But such is the courage back out there for his Auckland team as they're now with a set, fresh set on this county's Monaco line. Backdoor play, comes short side to the left, throws long, Senior, great catch, great put down, but referee Edwards was a party pooper and he said it was a touch. We should have just gave him that for that great catch. He's only got one and a half legs. Oh, Edwards. Anyway, Auckland with it again. Now they're hitting the left-hand side. 32 peel. Yeah, good, good set of defence here from Auckland. Ah, uh, County, sorry. Aaron Tamananui, he got that defence from Potless time in Pyro. Oh, I thought that was a great touchdown. One and a half legs. Had to dive to his right, off his sore leg, and he still managed to catch it. Yeah, it was certainly a good, uh, good play and a, a bullet, bullet ball there by Nathan as it come across the field. Um, and then Nathan took it, took it on the far side. So he's certainly varying his um, attack up as we see County's head down the sideline with Roto on the ball. And that's a that's that's a nice that's straight out of Hollywood that one uh, very very well acted Mr Moringa um, but it certainly got the the effect that he wanted they've got the repeat now let's just see um, what counties can do I'm expecting them to pull back to three three um, see what they can design off that as the link steps up so they they'll quicker the link and have a go, have a go at him oh nice touch here but you know obviously good play selection by by Moringa, the link stepped right up out of zone there, so they played him. Yeah, I don't think the sideline ref gave that call, so great call there from Rua. Right call, like always. 
Just moving away. Just a simple quickie on this left-hand side. Good cover there from the uh, Auckland link. I tell you what, if the referee didn't know the Auckland box that we're just standing behind, they sure gave her the right advice on whether that was the touch or not. Now just Morang on the ball. Gets quick. He comes back to the middle. Looking for a long... Whoa, late cut. Missed ball. Unfortunately, Howard Roder couldn't quite keep the ball in hand, although I think the Auckland winger had him covered quite safely there, Rod. Yeah, there was certainly an interesting one. They, the, the Auckland winger is actually their link, so I'm not quite sure how they, uh, they swap things out there. Um, as they see Auckland come, trying to come over to transition, trying to get their guys off the, off the park, as long as they don't all bail at the same time. Um, luckily, they've got Rihari around um, to try and patch things up there on their last. Now, let's see what he can, uh, as long as they finish on the right side of the park. Mm, hot hands, hot hands, keeping the ball alive. And Longapati just takes that 1-5. So as we see, counties... Try and get their transitions. Lee Hardy lifting high, nice and early. Try and prevent that ball from getting over onto the county side. <laughs> Just had the opportunity to see uh, Tim Lucas, um, one of the fairest good Maldis. Fluent speaker of Te Reo Maldi. Just talking to the Auckland sub box, telling them to uh, tie hot, don't come on too early. Too keen, I think, this Auckland box. Good work here from Auckland. Rihari will be interesting to see if he stays. Obviously, probably one of their most significant attackers. Looks like he's going to make his way to the box, him and Luke. So this will be interesting to see what the Auckland team have with both of their key defenders. We just hear the hooter in the background as that takes us into the first half. Don't have my uh, computer scoreboard in front of me here, so can't tell you what the score is. However, we'll be right back in the second half, hopefully with everything back up and running. Is this all good, Howard? One no. Counties, counties. It's crackling pretty hard. Perfect. Oh. We're back, Rod. We're back. 
back in the commentary box with our headsets on and full steam ready to go. Even though it was only 1 0 to County's Monaco in that first half, really a really good half of that first 10 minutes, and we've seen both teams sort of falling away through that transition zone, but um, we were behind the box to hear the Auckland half time score. They really want more of the same, other than what Luke said around being smart around what positions we're putting ourselves in. As we see Auckland coming straight back out of it, and this just goes Rod straight back to what he was saying. If you're not a scooper, don't end up in that position. Make sure you're in the right position. So great work there from Auckland. Yeah, it's and, and the game is always about roles and responsibilities, right? And if you've got the right people um, doing their role well um, and, you know, rely on the fact that your mate's going to roll their role, um, you know, then it certainly makes life a lot easier. And then you can put the right people um, in doing the right things. But, um, you know, counties, for me, counties, I think, have, have picked up a little bit now that um, Moring is starting to play a lot more active um, role in the game and, and Tia Moana Nui. Um, and for Auckland, obviously, if Lungapati and Rihari can, um, can get on together you know, a few more times, I think um, they'll get a couple more dots uh, as well. One all. Even though our screen says one all, she's one all. Good hit back. First hit of the game from the Auckland team, but County straight back down the other end and hit back to take it 2-1. Didn't quite catch the number, but just a simple 3-3 play there on. Yeah, just a nice, just a nice little, um, you know, fake, fake on the, on the round. And you just got out on the outside him. Chen just able just to hold his defender up a little bit, just square him, and then, and then release the ball. But you know, the interesting part for me at the moment, my is we've gone from a first half where defensively they were very good, um, to a second half which is basically the floodgates <laughs> have opened. Yeah. So you know, I don't know if both teams have had a bit of a chat and said this is the way we roll, but uh, for some reason this is how it's come out. Yeah, both boxes a little bit quieter. When the first five minutes of that game, that was just noise levels, 100%. Auckland now, Luke coming back door, just looking to go back to the left. Missed touch there in the middle, or into the back of the end goal line. Great support play there from the number three from Auckland, Nick Meek, going all the way from the middle of the field, as we'll see here in the Bunnings replay. Yeah, just Nathan just sliding through the through the hole and being very very patient about you know holding the ball. Nice little block play there from the. From the wings that we try not to tell the uh, the refs about, um, but you know it certainly worked well. And as you say, Meek just followed the ball just around onto that um, that far side there to get um, to get the dot down. Yep, definitely one of those times of the game when there's 30 things to look at and only <laughs> three sets of eyeballs to do. That's it, what so. I like to hear, Maya. That's what <laughs> I like to hear. To all the floodgates have well and truly opened. Three minutes, three touchdowns. And three sets. But counties, they'll be looking to make it four from four, as we see Tim Wananui. Good set-up play there to the wraparound player, the number 11, Kerry Tihei. Roy Pihana, the uh, link for counties. He's a great passer. I've been surprised he hasn't found himself as we see him here, the number two. That's ironic. He was the one who pushed him, but he got the penalty <laughs> for a hole. <laughs> great passer. I remember back in the days, he was just, he'd look one way and throw it the other way like a flick and it'd still go 20. So it'd be great to see him get his hands on his ball, uh, hands on the ball and prove me right. Yeah, just a case there for Auckland. I think of not really listening to the referee. And obviously when you're recovering, um, you know, it's important to, to stay on the referee's call to make sure that you are, are on side be before you try and uh, make that touch. We see more on the down quickie, and yep, as we come to expect with uh, with Mr. Murong, he certainly knows how to you know run those short plays, and he, he got in, got in on the outside of his uh, of his defender there, just headed to the outside, stopped a little bit, and held him up enough just to give him a little kick on the outside. Too fast, too good. He probably could have sucked the penalty there, but knew that he had his defender where he wanted him. Three two now, Counties Manuko. Four minutes, four touchdowns. I'd be expecting another one here from Auckland if we're going to continue the way we're going. I tell you what we I haven't seen, and yes, this is only our third live stream game. Oh, very close. Is slam dunks. Now, I'm not sure whether there's not as much agility in the shoulders of these uh, little bit older gentlemen, but it's so good to see that these men and women in this Masters grade showing the young ones the fundamentals of how to play this game well. Yeah, I guess that, you know, for me, that's that's a part of maturity. Um, Meyer, and if you see what these, you know, obviously this player's got a lot of a lot of experience and the showboating part of it is left for the end of the game um, when you actually might actually win it <laughs> yeah. um, as, as, as opposed to, you know, part, part way through it. So, um, 
you know, and it's it's a dangerous thing. Um, it may look spectacular, but you know, the number of you know fractured wrists and and so on always a little bit of a worry as a as a coach. Um, as we see Auckland just on attack now. Longopati just sitting out at sitting out at link. Yeah, become really slow now. Uh, Auckland here being very deliberate again at half time. One of the key speakers in the huddle was talking about just slowing it down on attack, making sure we're in the right spaces. And we see here Luke. Oh, nice pick up there from Howard. Positions himself perfectly. See him now taking the first touch. Obviously back to zero on that intercept. Yeah, that's just a little bit of an accuracy there. Really holds the momentum for this county's team, Rod. Yeah. And that's what you want as a you know as a defensive side. You just want to just step up and just take some away as we see Moringa just drifting across the field. <laughs> it looked like he went to plant it with both hands there. Felt it coming out of the right hand and went with his left. He just looks like a level up, doesn't he? I mean, physically, he's always been an incredible specimen. But um, just the speed that he has, he's just effortless, effortlessly getting on the outside of any defender that's coming up to touch him. Yeah, it's his ability to, to sum up a play that you know that um, you know I've, I've always admired. Uh, a player who who really is an adlib player and can you know read, you just just reads the play you know so very very well as we see Longapati. I'm just setting up Nathan on the ball. Nathan will go to the. Ooh, I think Nathan was was wanting to go to the passive there with um, a tie just sitting in the background. Splitter went the wrong way, unfortunately. Yep, probably not the length of hamstrings to be uh, passing those <laughs> low ones at this grade. A little bit more of a battle now at the ends. The attack sort of, sort of, instead of coming into it and pace off the end of a transition set rod, it's now a lot more static and sort of setting things up in the middle and trying to create lates or back doors. Yeah, yeah, I think I think the legs, the legs are you know not as not what they were earlier in the morning as the ref calls play through. Yeah, County's just switched off there. I mean, it looks like there'd be an easy try that they could have scored. Referee Lucas saying play through. So the Auckland players are offside. Yeah, I think it's what we said before. Uh, my, you know, the, re the, the players are refereeing you know, <laughs> and, and they're kind of calling the plays them, themselves, um, unfortunately. And, you know, you really do have to listen to, to what the ref is saying. Um, and that's, you know, that's sort of happened there. Fresh set, though. Four to go anyway. As we see, we're going to move to into the dummy half roll. I'm not sure how much of his body went over there. Does Paul get down? What does the referee say? Lucas, two step back, gets the all clear. And that is the fourth touchdown for Counties Monaco, as we see here. Not really much on. Just gave the ball back. The defenders there, as you can see them bumping into each other at sixes and sevens. Good touchdown. Counties Monaco take a two point lead. 4-2. Yep, be interesting to see what uh, what Auck change up Auckland can make here as we see V Hardy on the on the park now. You talk about change up, Rob. What would you go to? Having seen Auckland now for nearly 20 minutes or 25 minutes, what what do you think is their most effective attack against this defense? Yeah, I think um, I think there is some traction to be made out of um, out of late as we see V Hardy go down. And slide under uh, for a nice for a nice little touch down there. Just trying to fake the fake the sweep. Collapses yeah. collapses the defense in, and one thing Donnie does know he knows where the line is. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think um, for Auckland um, counties is susceptible to you know to the, to the latches, just to slide across and then and then a late. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if they they can fire a couple of those up. Just watching off screen, a lot of the wingers on both teams are infield a lot, and um, no matter how how good they are, they're not going to be able to get out to the wing. So anything they can set up where it ends in a long ball, I think they will uh, find some easy touchdowns. Yeah, that's the one thing we haven't seen, I guess, in this game um, so far. My is, is anything long, um, so I don't know if that's you know because that is not in the arsenal at the moment, um, or whether they're trying to hold that back. Um, there's certainly no advantage wind-wise um, for them, so they could throw it either side. Took on the ball, trying to run a trying to run a tips. 
<laughs> I always loved it how players could catch 30 metre long balls on the tip of their fingers but when the opposition <laughs> throws it back to them and they're trying to get a penalty suddenly they can't catch a 2 metre lob it was an excellent control by the, by the ref there she knew what was going on she was having none of that that's so why she's one of the best is Kalina Roa and here's another one who's done it for a long long time our top masters referee County's now on the outside. Oh, great recovery there. Good, good, good foot speed there from the Auckland number five to uh, recover there. I thought he was beaten on the outside. Mitchell Tungaria. Yeah, the transitions from both sides have definitely slowed down now. Um, why as we get start to get late, late into this game? Auckland just need to find a way forward. Um, to allow that, you know, good setup on that last. So let's see what kind of a quick transition they can get here. We see Nathan just push through, looking for the short. Ooh. We see there, picking out the ball, we're going to move to the number four there from Counties. Tell you what, to be a left link in this Counties team, you must have to have huge guns, which is ironic, because <laughs> he used to be about 40 kgs um, ringing wet, and now look at him. Guns for Africa. Another pyro export. Good to see the boys out here playing for Counties Monaco. Both lived up in the area for a long time now. Yeah, have a, have a sneaking suspicion that Auckland's just... Oh, we got teed there. Um, just Auckland just starting to win the battle of the uh, of the refs at the moment. Was that a Simbin? Uh, so she, she showed the tee. So, yeah, Mr. Mooring is on his way down the end of the field. Um, so this could change the, the shape of things real quick. Oh, just needed to be... They had the numbers advantage. They didn't need to create anything. I'm not sure if it's a tee. There's still six on, yep. That would be interesting. And technically, they probably should go back and give a penalty to Auckland for having six players on when they shouldn't have. Definitely something that the uh, team of referees should have been all over and showing the numbers were correct. Oh, looks like we have... Not actually sure. Yeah, great call. This is an excellent call. This is a very, very good call. And I'm not sure how many people would have made this call. So, Counties Manuko had someone Sinbin you talked about earlier, Willie Moranga. So, that means they dropped down to five. Counties has obviously put a six player on, whether they knew or not, that he had been sent down to the Sinbin. Uh, Kalina Rua has seen that this has been the case. So, therefore, she's awarded Auckland a penalty as a result of Counties Manuko having one player on the field more than they are allowed. Great call there. Now we see Auckland there, just simple numbers, draw and pass into a good touchdown, which ties it up for Allrod. Yeah, absolutely. And that was the passive play they were looking at, um, the play before, and obviously it makes it a hell of a lot easier when you're one player down. Um, so, you know, they, they search for it, and these are the moments that you need to take uh, when you've got a numerical advantage like this, um, and they don't come off, and you really do need to make sure that you, you know, take every opportunity that there is. So in terms of the stand down with this T, um, Maya, what's the what's the deal there? Oh, well, I want to see what the coach's knowledge is like. What what happens when someone gets Sinbin now, Rod? <laughs> it's uh, four four sets, I think. Um, uh, transitions and before they're allowed back on the field again. Uh, so I think he's had his he's had his first one. We're now into uh, we're now into the second one now. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see if that county's little while they had the ball is counted as a set. So. There's either been one set or two, but we shall see when the referees bring them back on. Back to the action now. County's now just back to the middle, just lazy, unfortunately, there in the middle from their Auckland defender. It always looked like it was going to be a follow play. Rod, if you take us through this. Yeah, it was just, it was just a, um, a disconnection, um, to be honest, as we see the sweep come around and, and you know, run a little crush play, just step back and, and the hole was there. But um, defensively, sometimes uh, when the number's are off, uh, you can get a little bit lost um, defensively as um, you've got one player who doesn't have to defend anyone and they get a little bit lost in their numbers and I think that's what happened there. Um, the link just wasn't quite sure um, who, who he was supposed to take. And we see now Auckland going out, oh, tying it up. Just to go back to that county touch, that should never happen. There shouldn't be any disconnection when there's six on five defensively. So um, for that's happened, no good. However, Auckland have come back down and right... On time, <laughs> have tied it up to take it to five all. In the end of our 
third of our live stream games. Auckland versus Counties Monaco. 40s men, 5 all. Great games. Homegrown Heroes is back, and this year I've got a new recruit. Kia ora touch whanau, it's time to nominate the unsung volunteers who put the mahi in for the sport we love. Enter them now for the chance to win $5,000 for their touch community. <laughs> 